What's up guys, David here. I'm showing you a video on how to build a basic iPhone app using PhoneGap and iWebKit. This is iWebKit.net. You can visit that site. I will be sure to put the link in the description of this video. This is, you need to download this package. And an apology for the last video, it was really low quality and I'm sorry for that. Promise this video will be uploaded in HD. So, um, once you go to iWebKit.net, just click download, and we're going to download iWebKit. Um, you need to use the mirror because the zip is broken. It does say if the zip is broken. I know the zip's broken because I just tried it. We're going to go here. We're going to just paste the URL. This is going to take you to Mediafire, which is, I mean, it's a good file hosting sharing. It's still Halloween for them, not for me. Um, but that's what you should download it. iWebKit 5.0.4, right out of my downloads. I'm gonna clear my downloads. Go ahead and view that in Finder. You can see there's a change log and there's a framework. And the framework is a, has a basic web page, but there's nothing in this web page. So for this particular starting. Since you may not know much, um, iWebKit or HTML period, we're just going to open up the iWebKit demo. And this is what we're going to do. So you have the iWebKit demo. Go ahead and close out Safari. And, sorry, there's ads sometimes. Um, go ahead and open up your Xcode. And just wait for that to open. And we're going to... Just create a new Xcode project. If you install PhoneGap correctly, there's not a tutorial on my channel yet, but there's some on some other channels. I will be doing a tutorial on that though. Um, PhoneGap what based application? Let's just name it My First iWeb Kit App. Sorry for the loud clicking. My mic is right by my keyboard. Save. That's saved in documents. It's going to go ahead and open it up. It may say base SDK missing. A lot of people have trouble with this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix the base SDK missing. You're going to go and click here. Go project, edit, project, edit, project, project settings. You can then change the base SDK. I'm using iOS device 4.1. You still can use the simulator because I don't have my device plugged in at the moment. But you can plug it in. So, just change it to 4.1, and you can close. You don't even have to save. Then it has device, simulator, and save in the debug configuration. I'll get into configurations a little bit later, but right now I'm not going to mess around with that. So, once you're here, you see there's a www folder. Well, in Finder somewhere, if you go to Finder, and you, I'm just going to open up a new Finder window, so I'm sure I don't want to... I don't want to close that finder window. And we're just going to open up my documents. And my first iWebKit at, app. This actually has all the files in it and stuff for an iPad. If you don't want an iPad, you just you can delete the, the icon 72. Delete default portrait. Default landscape. Delete my first iWebKit app dash iPad resources iPad and that's it then you click www and you'll have this file you can go ahead and just drag that straight to the trash bin we're gonna grab the iWebKit demo and we're just gonna copy all the files and move them in go ahead and close that finder window now then you're gonna have this here well over here in your plist file my first iWebKit app dash info dot plist you're gonna change supported you're gonna first you're gonna go to icon files and you're just gonna delete this whole thing by hitting the delete key then this is for iPad I know you can't see that let me expand that for you supported interface orientations just go ahead and straight delete that so if you wanna add this so it's portrait you can click right there make sure that one's selected click this and click landscape mode left home button that means to the left home button we're going to actually add another one landscape right home button 
right home button. So there you're done with that. And here's the icon file, which is if you go into finder, icon.png, and that's where your icon file is. You can change this. This is a 57 by 57 icon file. And here is your boot logo file, which is default.png. Not totally sure the size right off, but I'll try to put a little annotation of the correct size right here. Okay, now, sorry for that. Back to my project. So now in the www folder, we only have index.html. But if you double click www, we have all these files. So why isn't it picking up on the files? Sometimes you have to like just click this for it to pick up on all the files. We're just going to go straight into index.html. And this is where we're going to start some editing at. I webkit 5 demo. We're just going to put our first app. And we're going to go ahead and just take out this left button because we don't have a PC app. We only have a Mac app or an iPhone app. Then we just have a try button that goes to a few different pages. And we really don't have an RSS feed. So we're just going to delete this blog.rss.php. You don't, you cannot use PHP in this because this is not a server side application. Then you can go to down here and we can just delete all these. But. We're just going to go through and we're going to delete every bit of these because we really don't need more page items. This is just some other features. And we can delete this footer if you want to because the footer is not really needed. Um, discover. Let's just change iWebKit to our app. And this is welcome to the demo. And then we're just going to go file, save. Make sure we save that. We can go ahead and delete the blog.rss. That's the RSS feed that was initially created. We don't need that anymore. Just double click that and go find blog.rss and we're going to close this. Now we're just going to click build and run. Make sure close where you want to close it. We're just going to build and run. Make sure we're in simulator. We don't want to do device yet because the device is not plugged in. I'll show you how to provision devices in a later tutorial. We're going to click save all. It's just going to save all our files, our P list and stuff. And it's going to open up iPhone simulator. Here's our iPhone simulator. We are currently in a just a plain old iPhone running 4.1. Here's our first app. Discover our app. And there's a try button up here that just takes you around. If you're on a different page, you can click the home button. The technologies, it'll take you to the technologies. It'll take you to the navigation. And this is the different navigation top bars. There's the blue. Then there's the black. And then there's the transparent, which actually lets you see what's happening below. And then you go form elements. And these are like fields where you can actually click and type in stuff. Password done. You can have all these on and off buttons. You have to set these to do something though. You can also just change all these. You can insert text. Just say hey check out this app I just made in iWebKit and PhoneGap. Now you can delete the pages and change the pages as you need them. Like I'm going to go ahead and just close out the simulator. You hit the home button and see there's the icon it automatically puts the shine on it there is a way to get out of the shine which I'll have in another video and it'll just be called plist editing video it's just going to be completely about plist and the different cool stuff you can actually do with a plist oh really quick while I'm still on this app I'm just going to hit the home take us back here and we're just going to go rotate right now we have another view of it if you dislike this view, and a lot of times the reason we delete the footer is because the footer is cut off. If you don't want your footer to be cut off, you need to add a few things at the bottom of the footer. So I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, I'm going to rotate this back left, and we're going to hit the home button. 
So, if you want to change something in the about, make it about you, just change the title. Change this title, which is just say about me and myself. And then this will these are the links that take you back. There is an iWebkit tutorial including in included in your download that when you downloaded it. This will help you get started with coding in iWebkit. It's called the user guide.pdf. I would just go ahead and open that up and actually take a look at it because it explains everything on how to like make sure all the buttons are set up correct. And you can always use this as a guideline. About David about Famer Dave. Development. And this will be called development. I work for me and I make iPhone apps. I don't know how that's going to turn out actually, but I'm going to just go build and run. I didn't save that. Sometimes it doesn't require you, sometimes it does. It does this time. I don't know why. Sometimes the HTML, it hates saving that automatically. So we're just going to build and run. we got to stop the executable. And go to about and development about Famer Dave. Powered by WebKit. If you click that, it will actually take you to a link in another browser. You can put your site there. Might I suggest, it always cuts that off. So don't do it. Unless you want to go down to the bottom. I'll do what I said I was going to show you. Just put the... Bracket br space slash and see right there that's the code you would like to put in and then you would go br 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 make sure you don't put a viewport that would be stupid and then it's gonna just go build and run cancel file save and hold on let me copy and paste this so it's actually a little longer mm. It automatically adds these for you for some reason. I don't know why it would do that, but it does for you. So, it helps you code. I think that's good. Um, I'm just going to go File, Save, Build and Run. Okay. Go to About. See, now it gives you all the spacing at the bottom, so when you rotate left, it lets you see it, and then there's all the spacing at the bottom. Because it does, for some reason, just cut off the small little bottom of your web page. I don't know why, but it just does that. So, that's my first actual good tutorial on how to build a basic iPhone app. Um, now you can go ahead and delete this out of your simulator. It doesn't matter, but I just deleted it. My first tutorial, thanks for watching, and... I'll see you guys next time on the Famer Dave channel.